If we've learned anything in this election cycle is that the country is really divided, probably more divided than ever before. So just imagine being a woman, Latina, and Muslim when all three are being attacked. I don't know if you're aware, but recently there's been a rise of Latinas converting into Islam. So why are they doing it? We send Fusion's Grace Goldoni to find out. That's what saved me from committing suicide. It's that what saved me from like, you know, wanting to give up. It was Islam. Because that's the only thing that I had. This is Gabriella. She's 21 years old, the daughter of two immigrants from Nicaragua and Cuba. Her parents are evangelical Christian pastors. I was your average Hispanic Christian girl. This country is founded on immigrants. I'm an immigrant. I'm the daughter of two immigrants, and I'm very proud of it. The beach is really close to my heart because I've been coming here since I was little. It's like my safe place. It's changed a little bit because I used to wear bikinis. Um, and now I don't wear bikinis, and I, I actually I just wear this. This is a swimsuit. That started when I converted, you know, to Islam, and you know, I started learning about modesty and what it means to be modest. I'm Muslim now, and you know, not once did I ever look back. Stephanie Londono is a professor and researcher at Florida International University. She is an authority on the current trend of immigrant Latinas converting to Islam. We have this phenomenon of Latinos converting to Islam. And it's very interesting, right? Why would you convert to a religion that now has really bad press? You turn on the TV and it's, if it's not about terrorism, it's about oppression, violence, etc. Nothing, nothing flattering, right? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. We need to kill them. We need to kill them. The radical Muslim terrorists hell-bent on killing us. There are many reasons to change your religion, but for Gabriella, it was very specific. She found Islam after facing a life-altering choice. So, it's hard, because I don't know how people would take it. I, I was young and naive, and, you know, I had a boyfriend. Things happened. And, um, you know, I eventually became pregnant. That's when rock bottom hit. I made a choice to have an abortion. And it was hard. There's someone that told me, like, once you become Muslim, you know, God forgives you for everything that you've done. And um, I think that's what I really wanted. And, like, to have that not to feel bad anymore, you know? It's, that, it's, it's that, that's what saved me from committing suicide. It's that what saved me from like, you know, wanting to give up. It was Islam, because that's the only thing that I had. It was the only thing that made me feel that I was gonna be okay. And because of that, I am proud to be Muslim. Because of that, I'm, I'm happy. In the United States, there are 3.3 million Muslims and 55 million Latinos. Approximately 200,000 Latino Muslims reside in the U.S., and 90% of them are converts, most of them women. At a mosque in South Florida, we spoke with some of these women. Because of their request to maintain privacy for fear of being targets of hate, we did not show their faces. El Islam es algo no es específicamente para los árabes. El Islam es un religión mundial. I decided that I'm going to be a Muslim. It's not just a culture, it's a decision. Islam is not going anywhere. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, and it is projected to become the second largest religion in the United States. These women are actually great examples to see how it can actually join cultures from all over the world. The hijab is a symbol of modesty and Muslim female identity, but it is not technically mandatory outside of the mosque. By donning the hijab, Muslim women are far more vulnerable to discrimination. I feel women who wear the hijab, I admire them so much. But I'm not going to lie to you, like, it's scary. With everything that's happening, with this hate, it really targets Muslim women. I'm proud to be Hispanic. 
I'm proud to be Cuban and Nicaragüense. I, you know, I take pride in my roots. I take pride in being Muslim. It's who I am. Islam came in such a perfect timing. I didn't even, I wasn't even, I wasn't looking for it. It just happened to me, you know, and, and, and I'm happy that it happened to me. And that's what made me fall in love with Islam. It just came when I needed to be saved. I'm Grace Goldoni, and this is Fusion. Thanks so much for that, Grace. And we'll see what happens next week. Good night.